A long time ago in the state of Northern Wei, in ancient China, there lived a beautiful young girl named Hua Mulan. Her father, a general in the Imperial Chinese Army, had just returned from a very long battle. He was tired and injured, yet Hua Zhou never lost an opportunity to train his daughter to be a strong and brave girl. Come on, Milan, ride your horse faster. Yes, father. One day, news comes that the Huns had invaded China. The terrible Hun, Tu Li Ka, is here again. His army is wrecking havoc on our northern borders. China needs you. The emperor has ordered one able man from every family to join the army. Mulan realizes that her father is too old and tired to fight in another battle. Her brother is too young. I must become Huali to protect my family and my country. In the quiet darkness of the night, Mulan rides away on her father's trusted horse. At the army training camp, Mulan practices with trained soldiers. I have never practiced with anyone other than my father. I have to be as good as these soldiers. Two months later, Mulan's efforts are rewarded. She is appointed as second in command by the commanding officer Fa Ling. Thank you, sir. I will not disappoint you. One night, suddenly, Tu Li Khan's men attack the camp. Mulan fights fiercely to defend the camp. Soon, Fa Ling and the others join in. <laughs> In a fierce conflict, Tuli Khan's men are defeated. They beat a hasty retreat. Well done! You fought bravely. It looks like Tuli Khan has come very close. I am taking a few soldiers to check the situation. You stay in command here. Two weeks later, one of Tuli Khan's battalions attacks a fort guarded by Fa Ling. Farling and his soldiers fight bravely. Farling sends a soldier back to the camp. Soldier, I want you to travel as fast as you can to the base camp. Ask Huali to send us more ammunition and supplies. Hurry. Zhang Ying, take this supply to Commander Farling. Follow this messenger. Duli Khan and his men are very close. Be very cautious. Protect this supply. However, Tu Li Khan hears of the large consignment and his men ambush Xiang Yin. I must give the bad news to Hua Li. No, Zhang Ying, it wasn't your fault. I underestimated our enemy. This isn't the time to blame anyone. Let's work to get our supplies back. Commander Ling is waiting for them. The next day at Tuli Khan's camp, Mulan pretends to surrender. General Khan, I have come to surrender. I will be punished for this huge loss. Please protect me. I'll be loyal to you. Tuli Khan is not ready to believe Mulan immediately. He decides to test her. How can I believe you? Bring me the entire stock of supplies from your base camp now. The next day, Mulan arrives with the first load of food and fodder loaded on the horses. Tuli Khan is very pleased. Sir, my men are shipping the rest of the supplies across the Heishui River. But the supply isn't delivered even after four hours. The general loses his patience and gets angry. Sir, why don't you come to the river yourself? I am not as commanding a leader as you. They will obey you. The arrogant Khan believes Mulan's words. With a small army of his soldiers, he crosses over to Heishu River. And in no time, Hua Li's soldiers, who were riding among the supplies, overpower the Khan. <laughs> Mulan.
Sulan and her men take the captives and retrieve supplies to Commander Farling's fort. You have saved China, Huali. I'll take you to the Emperor at the Emperor's court. Huali, you'll be my supreme commander. Now ask whatever you wish. Your Majesty, all of us fought and won together. I have served my country. Now I must return to my old parents and do my duty as their child. The Emperor grants Mulan permission to go home. Our brave daughter, welcome home. 